Hey folks, Ryan once again with the CactusCon crew here with you, and we have Andrew with us. Andrew, thank you very much for your talk. How's it going? Uh, it's going really well. I'm super excited with the way the last couple of days have gone. Uh, for me, this is literally the most relaxed CactusCon I've ever been to, it's because uh, you took over for me, so that was awesome. Uh, this is actually, I think, the first time I've even been able to give a talk at the conference, except for like one time we did a sort of keynote panel type of deal where we took the original organizers up. But apart from that, I don't think I've ever actually given a talk at the conference. So it's was pretty awesome to be able to continue to do that and share it back. So uh, I'm excited. So it was great. For folks who may not be aware, Andrew ran CactusCon for eight years as the lead organizer, and it from him that I took over the reins. Uh, he had faith in me, he trusted me, and this is what we got, so. <laughs> very, very cool. Cry. It actually feels almost, it's like, oh, look, you were the guy and then I'm doing this stuff, and hey, we're talking to each other at CactusCon. So, cool, man. Well, I'm gonna do some prize stuff real quick. We gave out some prizes, and I have some winners for you, so let's take a look at that. And. First up, the winner for the two CactusCon hardware badges. We've got Zach and simply V, V as in Victor. Congratulations, I'll be emailing everyone tonight, probably during the uh, after party. And then we also had uh, the, um, actually, I apologize. That was for the Practical Vulnerability Management physical books, excuse me, our No Starch Press books, these little guys right here. Oh. And then the No Starch Press vouchers, uh, those go to BitRot. Oh, one of our presenters. Awesome. I like to see that, actually. And then Nick H won the other one. So, cool. I'm going to go ahead and kick off some additional prizes for folks. We're going to give out two more of the CactusCon 8 hardware badges. Those are these big boys right here. Ooh. Of course, this will include all the hardware for your... Uh, soldering delight to get that on there so we're gonna kick that sucker away now there's two of those going out and we have two more copies and this seems fitting to have andrew on for this the complete boot rogue strategy guide the physical books that we'll be shipping out in fact andrew if you want to speak to those real quick since they're actually at your house yeah so they are at my house uh i as i mentioned sort of during the opening yesterday i'm super excited about it so XLogic was a gentleman who lived here in Phoenix. And at the time, I think he worked at a SOC and he may still work at a SOC. Uh, he's been sort of integrated in the conference back when we were B-size. In fact, I, I sort of begged him last minute because he had just given a talk at one of the local community groups the night before, a couple of nights before. And I said, look, our speaker backed out or you'd have a spot. I don't know what to do. And he was like, ah, I got you. And uh, jumped in. He's been given a talk pretty much ever since then, along with... Uh, with Joe uh, Grown, I always have to say that because I guess mad if I don't, you know, call him out too. But um, XLogic has done such an awesome job. Like he gives these great talks on like steganography and like very deep technical things. I think one time he did the whole presentation in a in a, a console, right? So like who does that? It's awesome. And uh, this is a book he wrote about. Um, I want to say it's a game he created. Is that right? Uh, but it's a book he created uh, in a bootloader, and it's uh, pretty interesting to check it out. So uh, I got him. I reached out to him and said, hey, you know, could you autograph these? I saw you put out the book, and he was like, absolutely. So we've got a bunch here to to give away for folks. So cool. Awesome. Cool, man. Well, I, I really enjoyed your talk, and obviously I would say that no matter what, even if it sucks, because <laughs> you're Mr. Cactus Con, bro. No, I really like, I mean, honestly, it's like a thinking outside the box style of approach. You know, a lot of people don't approach systems analysis in, in that manner. Quite honestly, I think it was speaking to you at, uh, it was after one of the Cactus Cons and we were, no, it's a lie. It was 2017. You were just asking me to be part of the CFP, CFP board for the first time. And you went on one of your Andrew rants right after. So I was all elated because I was like, oh, I'm going to be involved with the actual conference. You know, I didn't know, didn't know this was going to be a thing, obviously, right, at that time. But I was really excited. And then you went on an Andrew rant, and it was like a solid 30 minutes. And I, it's been a while. You and I have interacted on just, you know, topological, more cactus con kind of stuff. And I was mentioning to some folks, it's like when you have a deep conversation with someone and you realize, holy crap, the way that they approach things, the way that they view things, 
there's a lot of intelligence behind it, you know, and that you really respect them. And then you forget all that crap and you just hang out and drink or whatever. Right. And then they do some other thing. You're like, Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> where, you know, where do you, when did you first start, you know, positing that way when it just became, you know, your method of review, your method of uh, your approach, how, how long is that taken to hone, if you will? Oh man. Uh, so I started pen testing probably in 2000, sort of 10, 11, roughly. Right. And, uh, I had this, this interesting job where I got a lot of engagements in a row. I think I probably would do over 50 tests in a year. Right. So every quarter we were, we were basically cracking through maybe 10, 12, 13 engagements. Um, and so with that, you kind of have a lot of opportunity to, to try to figure out speed and expeditious, right? How do you go through that sort of volume? What do you do? And I kind of went through this, this very normal phase that I think is predictable for pen testers where, you know, you first want to learn everything about the vulnerabilities. You want to have this like sort of broad base of knowledge, and then you try to like automate as much of it as you can. And you sort of uh, come up with a repeatable pattern and a process for you. And what's interesting about it is uh, not only is that really good and great for like a beginning pen test, uh, it gets boring really fast. I think anybody who's done it after a while, it sort of feels like you're just sort of repeating over and over again the same thing. And so then I started going like, now that I have this time because I've gotten faster and I have more time to think about the problem of the app and, and what they've probably done, you know, how do I explore some of the areas you can't automate? How do I get into the things that you can't necessarily get into? And I say, I say once I transitioned out of that company into Stack and Lou and now Bishop Fox, which is the same company, right? Um, we went from like 50 engagements a year to really only being on one engagement at a time, right? And you, so you get that, the pace, you get to really dig in. I'd say probably within the first year or so, I kind of dialed this process down into something that I could do. Um, it's taken me a while before I've been able to speak about like it and teach it to other people and show them. You know, it's because like I'm... I've been a developer for so long. I don't know what people know or don't know. I can't say like, what do you see and not see? And it came from a lot of like discussion and conversation with everybody. So um, it's good. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, obviously I, I know that you and I could sit here and just wax idiotic for, <laughs> for absolute ever. We're up against our next talk. I'm going to throw one more giveaway out there. We're going to throw in two more copies of Ted Demopoulos' InfoSec Rockstar, the signed books. Uh, so yeah, I'll kick that off right now. And Andrew, obviously, you know, it's, uh, been a pleasure. Thank you for having faith in me. And, and I think that this year, the first, first, my first con, our first digital con, I think so far it's gone pretty damn well. So yeah. cool, man. Thanks for it. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for being you, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right.